Australia-New Zealand battles traditionally bring out the best from both nations. But while Australian soccer has improved in the last decade, the same cannot be said for its trans-Tasman rivals given last night's performance. We're starting to get there slowly, but it's going to take time. We were always going to get through and that. we just had to be patient and the goals came in the end. The All Whites had the run of the game in the opening 30 minutes. The turning point arriving when Daniel McLennan was denied by Socceroos keeper Jason Petkovic. Game, it could lead to something here. Petkovic, a dynamic save. Got rid of some of the nerves, but, <laughs> but uh, I suppose it was a little bit lucky to save it. But anyhow, it kept out and that's my job, I suppose. But the Kiwis couldn't match Australia's brand of dazzling football. Paul Trimboli provided the pass that allowed Damian Murray to score the Socceroos' opening goal. The opportunity Australia's been looking for. Trimboli spearheaded the Socceroos' attack, forcing New Zealand to resort to negative tactics. A good ball now for Joe Spateri. He's got the pace. Has he got the finish? It's a penalty. Paul Wade's penalty on the stroke of half-time virtually ended New Zealand's hopes. Joe Spateri extended the scoreline five minutes after the break, but full credit belonged to Trimboli. Discarded as an international since 1993, the South Melbourne captain terrorised the bigger opposition before being replaced midway through the second half. No question, man of the match for Australia. Being out for two years, I really missed it, and this was my opportunity, so hopefully I've, I've done enough to be in the next one. New Zealand paid for defensive lapses and its failure to inject imagination. Yet Zealand. coach Bobby Clark was in two minds about his team's performance. Oh, it's not a huge margin. There's only three bloody goals, man. Hey, if we, we, we can do better than that, you know, if you, if you really want to know. So overall, you're quite satisfied? Obviously not. How the hell can you be satisfied when you lose three nothing? Australia's international schedule for the year is now completed. 1996 will herald the arrival of the national teams of Sweden and Uruguay. Mike Tomolaris, SBS Sport.